So you need Senator Nate Bolton's withdrawal from the race leaves three men and two women vying for the Democratic nomination to take on Governor Reynolds this November. Now the candidates will be fighting for Bolton supporters, that is, the ones who haven't already voted. So much of Senator Bolton's support was labor and progressive groups, which are both very activated and motivated to turn out to, vo to vote. Uh, I'm pretty sure their votes will go elsewhere. I asked former longtime Polk County Democratic Chair Tom Henderson where he thinks those votes will go. A large group of the Bolton supporters were uh, Bernie Sanders supporters and a large group were from the unions. If logic dictates they probably go to Glossy but the rest of them will probably go to Fred Hubble and that should give Fred Hubble enough votes that he should be able to get the nomination in the primary rather than at convention. The race would be decided at convention if no candidate secures at least 35 percent of the vote. If it goes to convention it's a whole new program and that's where activists really start to play a heavy role in making the determination and the activists tend to be a little bit more liberal so it's anybody's guess what happens if it goes to convention. But to reach out to Bolton supporters so quickly after the announcement yet so soon before the primary candidates need money and lots of it. He says that likely tips the scales. Fred Hubble's probably the only candidate who has fun financing and can pivot quickly on this particular issue.